here, Seekers. I'm Nick. Over the last few years, we've seen less and less motherboards with white PCBs. MSI went through a phase of having white PCBs a couple years ago, and then all of a sudden, nothing. But Gigabyte is back with a brand new white PCB motherboard. This is called the B650E Aorus Elite X AX Ice. Wow, what an absolute tongue twister. What we're gonna do is our usual thing. We're gonna take a look at this motherboard. I'm gonna show you all of the features and everything. Remember, our motherboard videos are not reviews, they're just overviews. So you can get a bit of an idea about this motherboard. But before that, here's a word from today's video sponsor. This video is brought to you by VOPSCDKey.com. Have you ever installed Windows only to see that watermark of death? You don't need to fork out a couple of hundred dollars for a key. You can grab one from today's video sponsor from VOPSCDKey.com for a tenth of the price. You can use our code GEAR to get 25% off. How good is that? That takes that already cheap Windows key and makes it even cheaper. You can grab yourself a copy of Office Pro 2019 with code GEAR and save yourself a whole stack of money as well. It's as easy as placing your order. Bingo bango! You've got your new key on your orders page. You chuck that key into the activation screen and you're good to go. No more watermark of death. You can even use your cheap Windows 10 Pro key to upgrade to Windows 11 Pro. Use code GEAR for 25% off. Link in the description. On with the video. All right, here it is, ladies and gents, the Gigabyte B650E Aorus Elite X AX I. So let's get that motherboard out so we can take a bit of a closer look at everything that comes with this board. And spoiler alert, it's really not a lot. First of all, we've got the SATA or SATA cables for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning ROS drives. I can see that these are going to be phased out in the next couple years. There's also the Wi-Fi antenna for the built-in Wi-Fi 6E that comes with this motherboard. As well as that, we've got the G connector. This is for plugging in all your front panel wires and whatnot into a single block for your motherboard. And lastly is this, it's a bit of documentation showing the whole B650 product stack. Okay, let's get that new board unsheathed so we can take a bit of a closer look at this new board from Gigabyte. And there's one really cool feature here, which I think you guys might find quite interesting. But first of all, we've got that front panel audio header. Next to that, we've got two three pin five volt addressable RGB headers. There's also a four pin 12 volt RGB header. We've got TPM headers in case you wanted to use that for Windows 11, which you don't need to really use. There's also a PWM fan header, two USB 2.0 headers for things like liquid coolers and RGB controls and that kind of stuff. Another PWM fan header. There's a reset button. And then we've got the front panel connector for your lights on your switches. There's a right angled USB 3.2 type A header, four SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives, a USB type C front panel header, another PWM fan header. There's a strategically placed HDMI port for uses for things like cases like the Hi-Wire 70 with a screen built in. So you don't need to run the cable outside of your computer. You can use the integrated GPU and this built in HDMI port. Lastly, we've got the 24 pin power connector to send juice to your brand new motherboard. On the top edge, we have another three pin five volt addressable RGB header. There's also three more PWM fan headers for things like CPU coolers and liquid coolers and all that stuff. There's an eight pin EPS power connector and a supplemental four pin EPS power connector. For PCIe slots, you've got a PCIe 5.0 by 16 slot, and then there's two PCIe 3.0 by one slots in a by 16 size. As far as VRM layout, this features a 12 plus two plus two phase digital twin VRM setup with 60 amp Dr. Moss power stages. And as you can see, the cooling for the VRM setup on this board is quite extensive. We've got a single heatsink at the top, which is then connected with a heat pipe to the IO cover, which is also a huge heat sink for VRM cooling. Let's pop open that AM5 socket just to take a bit of a close look, just in case you've never seen what it looks like inside of one of these sockets before. And you'll notice that it's an LGA setup here, much like Intel CPUs, the pins are now inside the socket and no longer on the CPUs themselves. I'm only saying this for people who haven't seen it before. For RAM, this supports up to four DDR5 DIMM modules, with a total of 192 gigs of RAM at 8,000 mega transfers. 192 gigs is now becoming the standard for maximum memory. There's a spring-loaded clip for the M.2 heatsinks here, which I think is really, really nice. 
It's completely toolless. You can open up that latch and lift up the entire heatsink. And you'll notice underneath there's spring-loaded clips to hold drives down as well. The top M.2 slot is much the same. It's just a single heatsink with that latch for the drive too. But I'll just show you what it looks like to install a drive, place it in, push it down and clip it in. You're good to go. On the rear for rear IO, we've got a Q flash button. We've got the antenna connectors for the built-in Wi-Fi 6E, some USB type A ports, HDMI for the integrated GPU if you wanted to use that, USB type C, a whole bunch of USB 3.2 ports. We've got 2.5 gigabit ethernet and the audio interface. But ladies and gents, it's B-roll time. Ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this first look and overview of this new board from Gigabyte. Now, it's really, really nice to see a new motherboard with a white PCB. It's just been such a long time since we've seen something that looks this nice. I am a little bit confused about a couple things though. So first of all, most of what we're seeing on the board here is white. The RAM slots are, for some reason, still black. The bottom PCIe slots are still black. All of the connectors along the bottom edge, even the 24 pin power connector are also black. I've seen white versions of these. I'm talking about the connectors themselves and the slots. So I'm not sure why Gigabyte couldn't just do that, but otherwise who cares? It's a nice white PCB motherboard. Like I said, something we haven't seen in ages. Another thing I will say that I like with these new boards are the M.2 slots. I showed this a little bit throughout the video, but you don't need tools at all to install drives on boards like this anymore. I could do it right here, right now. So easy, pull off the heatsink, put a drive in, and then we just pop the heatsink back on and we're good. I love that this is now normal. Although with saying that they giveth and then they taketh away. For some reason, Gigabyte has adopted this new top PCIe slot with out having a button like many other boards to release the slot and they could have easily just have done that. I get it, it's probably just to save money on building something extra and mechanical on the board just by having a bigger plastic clip but getting your hands in here, especially when you've got a big chunky air cooler, is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt but other than that, I think this board is looking pretty good. It's looking pretty similar to the non-ice version that I think we covered when that board came out a little while ago. I'll put a link to that in the description if it is something that we did cover, but I do remember doing the B650E Aorus Master, which uh, is probably not as similar to this as I thought. But yeah, very nice board from Gigabyte. We've got a build coming up with this very, very soon. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on and give us a like if you like videos like this and all that stuff. But one thing I wanna talk about is the price. Because this is a B650E board, pricing for this is almost unavailable. It's almost like this board doesn't exist for sale anywhere. And I'll give you a bit of a backstory on me having this board. board. Gigabyte was like, hey, we're gonna send you this white motherboard. And I said, okay, and that was it. Like, I don't have any other details for it. But I wanted to show you guys because I saw that they announced these, I think at the, either at the end of last year or the start of this year. And I thought, I was like, hey, wonder if we'll ever get those white PCB builds for 
the white builds that we do here on the channel. And here we are, we've got one. If you like the video, like it, whatever, I don't care. Please subscribe, it helps us out tremendously. And watch a video around here somewhere, like maybe here, about another motherboard or something else that we've done on the channel. Thanks for watching. Like there's just something here. I don't know. Watch it. It's here. Up here. Look, it's a video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Catch it if you can. Whoa. I, I dare you not to click it. I dare you. You wouldn't click it. You're scared. You wouldn't. You wouldn't click the next video. You're scared. You wouldn't do it.